Well, good morning, everybody. Oh, well, I've been up for a couple hours. And, well, I don't know. What time is it? Nine o'clock? After nine? Yeah, I've been up for about... Oh, I think I got up at 6.30. Made coffee. Let the dogs out. But, uh got some cleaning up to do had one heck of a hay mowing day yesterday uh, we'll get into that here in a minute got tools to pick up tractor to wash disc mower to wash uh, Go work on the pickup and uh, go from there. Here comes a vehicle down the road here. Sorry if it's too noisy. But you might have seen my shorts. If, not my short short. My, not my shorts that I wear, but posted a couple of shorts on the you on the tube channel here and uh, yeah got stuck I went down a little bit too far but luckily uh, yeah I was helping the neighbors open up a field and, uh, got stuck you got stuck pretty good last time I ever got stuck was probably when I was a kid brush hogging the pasture and up home and uh, we used to uh, dump the corn cobs from shelling corn into the uh, ditch and I made a bad turn and put the front wheels right down in them the old man wasn't very happy but he got it out so nice breeze blowing today I should have been out doing this two hours ago when everything was shaded so anyway I'm gonna tie these boots up and show you a couple things oh <sighs> Yeah, it was a long day yesterday. I'm pretty sore. Riding that tractor. Wish I had one of them Cadillac green tractors or a red tractor with the cab on it, air conditioning, all that good stuff. It'd be nice, but I can't justify spending all that money. But as you can see, I got a bunch of tools laid out here. And uh, that's what I had to use, plus a welder. Get this door opened up. too bad right now but yeah we got her stuck yesterday got her stuck pretty good but got it pulled out but here's what I wanted to show you guys I have this is what's called I call it a kickback uh, it's a release for the mower that if you were to hit something like a tree stump or something with the mower, it, it it's a spring-loaded safety release. That way you don't tear up your mower. But, oh, let's see if I can find it. There it is. I might try and I'd upload a couple of pictures uh, during this video, but the factory weld on this here
factory weld broke on that. The very front of that wasn't even a, a welded. It was welded, but it wasn't welded right. There was like an eighth of an inch gap. And it broke. And I got it back here to the house. Wow, this side's actually clean. <laughs> More or less. So anyway, the, the factory weld broke. So that let the, the whole bar flop flop around and up to the tire and whatnot. And so I I got it raised up and back to the house, took everything off, welded it back up with my stick welder. I've got a Lincoln stick welder. I actually called my best friend up in northern Missouri and and uh, he said just grind them welds a little bit use a 7018 welding rod and and uh, burn it in so that's what we did so it i got it welded back up went back to mowing and uh worked out the rest of the day i think we i think it was about dark when i got back to the house so, anyway, another thing I need to do today, maybe, is I need to move one of the water tanks, maybe even both of them, because they've got a mud hole wallered. <laughs> Over here. By the water tank trying to keep cool hope you all can see that but that's where it is I actually have to have that uh, I need to get that hydrant replaced because it leaks so I'm running the hose from the other hydrant down here I got that old bell ring I need to mow, load, load up on my scrap trailer. I'm planning on taking a load of scrap down the 18th to the scrap yard. And I've got to fix the uh, bell forks on my pickup. I've got a full plate today, so again. So I hope you all are having a good day, and I guess... Uh, I guess I'll quit talking and get busy, pick up some tools, all that good stuff. So probably even wash the bike, power washer. She's pretty dirty. So, well, we'll talk to y'all a little bit. get done what I wanted to get done today but I got a couple things done I got my bail forks on my pickup working and I took the truck up dropped it off at the repair shop Had to replace the right front axle U joint. I was going to attempt it myself, but it uh, it's not a lot of fun to try to do that off the ground. Plus, I took about a two and a half, three hour nap this morning. Now I'd say between 11 and 1 or something like that. I don't know. Neighbors are raking hay. Everything I cut yesterday uh, is getting raked. I don't know if they'll get it rolled up today. But uh, we'll go by and check it out. What do you think? Then I got to get ready to bring it all in and pile it up. Oh, 
gonna stop and give me a cold drink. Well, I acquired uh, some new hay ground this year. Actually, uh, I had heard that uh, the own, new owner of this property uh, wanted someone to mow it and take the hay off of it. So I finally got his card and I mowed it. I actually got to meet him yesterday, super nice guy. Here's the hay ground I'm gonna show you. It's gonna make some good hay. The guy that bought this property, I guess he bought it two years ago. Super good guy. And uh, he said he's going to rehab the house and it's going to be his forever house to retire in. Owns a construction company. And uh, hopefully it'll turn into a pretty good relationship, you know, as far as uh, getting some new ground. This here is some other hay ground that I've I've been mowing and baling this ground for I would say probably the last eight nine years seven years I used to square bale all my hay but finding finding kids that want to uh make a few bucks you know handling 50 60 pound square bales it's unheard of anymore i don't know if they'll get it rolled up yet tonight it's uh, about 5 30 or so at least i got it flipped over and uh I've got two other little patches that I that I bail. So sounds like there's something going down the road. I don't know if that's a tractor or just a car. Well, it's actually one of the neighbors in the pickup, so. But it's going to make some good hay this year. I'm hoping to get, I think last year, with the three little, this here and the two other patches, I had, I don't know, 27 bales. I'd like to get 40 bales. That would, uh, that would sustain me through the winter, I believe. But we'll see. I guess we'll head home and show you what Miss Linda made today. <laughs> it looks like I have giant feet. Because <laughs> you do have giant feet. I do not. Well, everybody, I'm back at the house. Huh? And we'll show you what Miss Linda made. She's been picking mulberries, what, for the last two, three weeks? Probably. Here you go. Looks good. It's your hearts. You wanted yeah. the heart crust. <laughs> yeah. I've been complaining because I don't get hearts on my pies. So. You may not have love on your pies, but they're made with love. Yeah, they're made with love, right, honey? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're going to. We're going to try some of this. We hope you have a uh, wonderful week this week. And uh, that's about all. I'm going to sit down and relax. Might go out to shop here and laugh a while and work on our little motorcycle trailer. 
Who knows? We might even get in a wrestling match. You never know. <laughs> Leave a comment down there in the comment section. Take a wild guess of how many uh, round bales I'm going to get out of them three pieces. I showed you two. And there's two smaller pieces of those. Probably another, I don't know, three acres, maybe four. So, we'll talk to y'all later. Stay out of trouble. Say hi to a stranger. Stay hydrated. Be safe. We will talk at you later. Sit. Good boy.